All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our TensorFlow course, and we did start our new module today. That was going to be the mobile net module. Let's have a look at what we went over today. Now, basically, what we did is we watched a bunch of demo videos and uh, took a bunch of notes. So we're going to do some light reading, and uh, we're going to leave it at that. So in this section, we'll be going over the mobile net. We'll be treating the mobile net architecture. This was first developed by Google Researchers in 2017, which gave us the mobile net version 1 and later updated to mobile net version 2, which was developed in 2019. After this, was, after this there was a mobile version net 3. We were just going to focus on the mobile net version 2. And we'll be going over a paper titled The Mobile Net V2 Inverted Residuals and Linear Bottlenecks. So that's the paper that we're going to be working off of, the documentation paper. Feel free to look it up yourself. Now, the mobile nets have been built for environments with low compute resources like the mobile and edge devices. In this section, we are going to focus on what permits this model, the mobile net V2, to perform quite well in terms of speed while producing high quality results. Now, there are two major techniques which make the mobile net version 2 very powerful or which permits us to work at higher speeds while still maintaining reasonable quality results. Now, these are the two, the uh, depth-wise separable convolutions and the inverted residual bottlenecks and those are the two areas we're going to be focusing on moving forward i'm going to just do some light reading from here on out probably i don't think we're going to be doing any code in this section it's just going to be going over documentation on those two topics but of course i will keep you posted every step of the way for now it's the python poppy you guys stay gucci